Ezekiel chapter 34 begins with God directing his coming judgment towards the leadership of Israel. He does this by comparing them to shepherds who have neglected and taken advantage of his flock while they were given authority over the people of Israel. Verses 3 and 4 describe the actions of these shepherds when it tells us that you eat the fat, you clothe yourselves with the wool, you slaughter the fat ones, but you do not feed the sheep. The weak you have not strengthened, the sick you have not healed, the injured you have not bound up, the strayed you have not brought back, the lost you have not sought, and with force and harshness you have ruled them. The failure of leadership to direct God's people back to God would lead to their being scattered across the different kingdoms of the world. But God doesn't stop there. He also tells us that he will judge among the flock, his people, to see who has taken advantage of his brother. God doesn't leave them only to judgment, but gives them a message of hope also. He would one day raise up a shepherd who from the house of David would rule over them. As we know, Christ is the good shepherd that God would send. He would accomplish what no civil or religious leader could accomplish. He would redeem us back to God by paying for our sins. He would lay down his perfect life for the sheep, where no human leadership could ever make us right with God. God himself came to us to lead us and guide us into a right relationship with himself. King David, of course, paints for us in Psalm 23 the comfort of knowing that God is our shepherd when he says, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Today, remember to take comfort in the fact that our shepherd isn't one who can be corrupted or bribed, but instead cares for us, restores us, and makes us righteous before God.